Hello YouTube, Spade MC Gamer here and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have another tutorial for you guys. Uh, today I have a, a full scale tutorial on how to breed uh, horses in the Mo Creatures mod for Minecraft 1.4.7. Um, there it the, it's quite extensive the whole breeding uh, the whole breeding situation and uh, to get to get any f Pegasuses or anything uh, any good horses anymore you can't find them in the wild you have to get them through breeding. So um, I'm going to go through the whole thing with you today. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, but it will take a little while. So I'm just going to get started as quick as I can. Um, if you if you want to uh, know how to install more creatures, uh, if you don't have it but you want it, um, I'll have a link in the video description. Uh, I, the video I've made myself. Go and have a check it out. It has a good few views already, and uh, it tells you how to install it. So they uh, so just have a look there if you want to install it. Uh, so anyway, to get started, um, first thing first, you're going to know want to know how to make a horse saddle. I'm going to turn down the sound because these horses are very loud. Uh, how to make a horse saddle, uh, or crafted saddle as it's called. Basically you do exactly what you can see right there. So 5 leather, 3 iron, crafted saddle. And uh, horse armor is, a, is just like this, which you can just put on your tamed horse once you have them. Uh, just right click with the horse armor. Uh, I have some special one down here. But anyway, it's just like that. You just put uh, wool in the middle and then put whatever, whatever you want around the sides. Gold, diamond, uh, iron, whatever you want. So first off, there are five normal horses that can be found in the wild. Uh, there's a white horse, a uh, black horse, a uh, light brown, a uh, brown, and the dark brown. So these are the five ones you can find in the wild. Also, you can find donkeys and zebras, but donkeys are pretty useless, and zebras, I'll get the zebras later on. Uh, but anyway, the whole point of getting uh, these horses uh, is to get a tier four horse. As you can see, all these horses are tier one. I've named all these horses tier one and whatever. I have them all labeled. But um, you want to get a tier 4 horse because you can tame a zebra while while riding a tier 4 horse. It's the only way you can tame a zebra. And then to tame a zebra, you need to make a zorse, which is breed a zebra and a horse. And then that's how you get pegasuses and bat horses and horses that can fly, basically. That's what the goal is, to get like a good good horse that can fly. So anyway, these are all the tier 1 horses. And uh, to make the tier 2 horses, which are right here, here's one tier 2 horse. There are 5 tier 1 horses, 2 or... 5 tier 1 horses, 4 tier 2 horses, and it goes down as you go on there, 3 tier 3, and then 2 tier 4. So to make one of the tier 2 tier two horses is uh, exactly what you can see here, a white horse and a dark horse. So these two guys make this guy right here. Um, I'll move on. A, a black and a white horse make this guy right here, which is actually a really nice colored horse if you ask me. Um, to, to breed horses, you need pumpkins, guys. You need a lot of pumpkins, so make sure you're growing lots of pumpkins. Uh, you just give them each a pumpkin, and you have to make sure they're at least eight blocks away from other horses. So if I were going to breed these horses here, I'd go over here, make a pen around here, and then make sure no, no horses are near them, and then give them pumpkins and breed them right there. And that then after about half a Minecraft day is how long it takes uh, for them to breed, and then they would breed and make a new horse. So, um, so yeah, so you have to use these two horses to get this guy right here. And uh, a brown horse, there's a lot of chickens in here. Uh, a white horse and a brown horse, or a light brown horse, gives you this horse right here. But this horse is actually not go no good for making a tier 3 horse. You, this guy right here, you can't breed him to make a tier 3. So if you ask me, um, there's no point to really uh, getting this one at all. Uh, them two over there are very useful for getting tier 3 horses. You can't breed this guy to, a tier, to make a tier 3. So he's a bit useless, but he is a really nice horse. Um, the, the way his hair goes down one side of his shoulder is pretty cool. But um, it's up to you. So I've bred every single horse you can in the whole game. Right here, just for demonstration purposes. You would only you wouldn't have to do this. You'd only have to make one tier 2 horse, one tier 3 horse, and then one tier 4. I've made every single horse there is. So uh, that's why there's so many. So you don't even need to make one. Uh, this is another tier 2 horse right here. Um, this guy is also useless for breeding. So these last two are no good for making tier 3 horses. Just the first two I showed you. Um, so yeah, so how you make this guy is these two horses right here. Um, so if you want to make any of these horses, just pause the video right here and then go to your own world or whatever. And come back when you when you want to and have a look at the coloured horses you need. Um, we're moving on to the tier 3s. Uh, tier 2 horse plus a tier 1 horse. So this tier 2 horse plus this horse, right, uh, gives you this one right here. Which is a nice tier 3 horse. This is probably the night my favourite horse. Uh, just the colour is really nice. See his blue eye there. Um, then the second tier 3 horse is this one right here, which which is kind of, he's kind of bland looking. Uh, so you have to breed, to get him, you have to breed a white one and this one right here, to get this one. 
Okay, are you still following me? It's a lot to take in, I know. But um, you can basically choose whichever one you want to breed. Uh, and this is the only horse I could not breed, which is the, the third tier 3 horse. It basically looks like that one right there, except just a bit different. Um, you have to breed these two to get them, and every time I tried to breed them, they just kept giving me a white horse. So you have to breed this tier 2 horse and this tier 1 horse to get this tier 3 horse. Um, I'm going to give you a link to the Minecraft forums, and there's like a whole diagram. Um, listed out in the Minecraft forums on how to breed the horses. That's where I got all this information from. So this all works, guys. Don't worry. This isn't just chance breeding. This is all taken off the forums. Um, and I, this is actually correct. I don't know why. I just couldn't get this guy. I tried like five times. I just, just said, doesn't matter. I just won't bother getting him. Okay, so to get your final horse, your tier four horse, you need to breed a tier three horse like the ones we have over there with a black horse. Same with this one. To get the cow horse, this is a cow horse cow horse uh, needed to tame a zebra uh, same with this guy you need these guys these tier 4 horses to, z to tame a zebra you have to be on the horse and then go up to the zebra and have an apple is how you tame a horse you can use wheat but an apple is just so much easier so just right click on the horse with an apple and uh, then you'll tame tame them and you'll be able to name them and uh, then you can just right click with your saddle so once you have your saddle oh shit but that doesn't matter just right click on the horse with your saddle and you will uh, you'll uh, you'll jump on them so that's it guys, um, let me think, so this is your cow 4 horse, so them 2 horses are used to tame a zebra, so this is a zebra right here, tamed zebra plus any horse gives you a zorse, okay, so a zorse is basically a breed between a zebra and a horse, so any horse you want, any random horse, breed it with a zebra and you get a zorse, now zorses are the, are the main key, uh, they're actually sterile, you can't breed a zorse with another horse, it won't work, but you have to, uh, to get any kind of a nice horse like a Pegasus, Nightmare, Unicorn, any of these horses, you need a Zorse. So this is where it gets pretty cool guys, the mod gets pretty interesting from here on out. Um, a Zorse, if given Essence of Fire, will turn into a Nightmare, okay? So this is how you make an Essence of Fire, there's an Essence of Fire, so this is how you make it. The Heart of Fire you get from a, um, a horse in the Nether. Uh, so you need to go to the Nether, find the horses there in the Nether and kill them, and that's how you get the Heart of Fire. The fire itself, you get from flame ogres. I'm sure if anyone knows about the Mo Creatures mod, uh, they know about flame ogres. They spawn uh, during the night time and they're red and you just kill them. And they drop fire like this. So that's how you make it. And there's your essence of fire. So if I right click on this source, watch what happens. We get a nightmare. So uh, yeah, it's, it's actually really, really nice, I have to say. He's pretty, pretty cool. Um, as you can see he's all like flames and it's all moving and everything and they jump way higher than any other like a tier 1 horse or a tier 4 horse uh, a tier 4 horse or, 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 or a horse like a Zorus or a Nightmare get lost turkey uh, they jump like they can jump clean over any building pretty much but the tier 1 horses can't jump really that high at all so anyway yeah so this is the Nightmare he looks amazing if you ask me and um, here we, we'll move on uh, Zorus if given a darkness uh, an essence of darkness you would get a bat horse, which is your first flying horse. Um, a heart of darkness and an ender pearl. I know you, you know how to get an ender pearl. To get a heart of darkness, you need to kill um, a horse mob. Um, they're basically at night time. Ho these f black flying horses uh, spawn. Uh, just in, at night time, if you have the mod installed, they spawn and you kill them, and that's how you get the heart of darkness. So essence of darkness right here is that's how you make it. And if you give this to a horse, oh shit! Hold on. There we go. So if you give this to Azorus, he turns into the first flying horse you can get. Which is a bat horse, as you can see right there. He's a, he's a flying horse, they're, they're pretty cool as well. Um, I prefer the Pegasuses. I prefer <laughs> I prefer the Pegasuses, but um, these guys are pretty nice as well. These are the first flying horses you can get. I'll just make sure he doesn't get out there. Um, this guy's actually despawned, so I'm just going to get him back. Uh, where's the... Horse mob. There he is right there. So you use an essence of undead to tame an undead horse. So to get the heart of undead, you need to kill this guy right here. These guys spawn at night time. Um, and uh, they're like a ghost horse. To get the essence of undead, just do exactly what you see right there. So get to get that heart, you need to kill him at night time. And you just basically give it to him. Oh, um, I don't know why it's not working now. Um, maybe it's the other horse, I'm not 100% sure about this, but anyway, you can tame these kind of horses, uh, the horses that spawn at night time, 
Uh, and the reason why you might want to tame one is a uh, time set. Hold on. Just set the time today. Um, because if you're riding one of these horses at night time, no mobs will attack you. Uh, you'll be safe. Um, so that's really kind of handy, but I wouldn't really be bothered. Uh, anyway, we'll move on to the one of our last horses. If you give an essence of light to a bat horse, you get a pegasus. Uh, you have to be at cloud level when you give the bat horse the essence, okay? So to get an essence of light, you need to get the first three essences and then it gives you an essence of light. So it is a quite a hard thing to get, guys, the essence of light. So you need to get the essence of undead, essence of darkness and essence of fire before you can get the essence of light. And uh, once you give this guy an essence of light, the bat horse, um, he turns into a pegasus, which I have right here. Uh, the Pegasuses are pretty class, I have to say. He's only named Zorus because he was a Zorus, and then I turned him into a Bat Horse, and then into a Pegasus. So that's why he's named Zorus. But, um, yeah, he's the end result. Um, Pegasuses are really, really cool. Um, hold on now. I'll take him out for an L spin. I don't want to give him that, though. Um, so, as you can see, he flies around. The animation is really, really nice. Um, it looks amazing. And he, he's, he basically, he's just like the handiest thing ever for going around. Uh, getting places so so yeah um, let me think now I have one other thing to show you guys um, how to get a unicorn and um, if you remember back to how we got um, a nightmare this guy right here you just give a source uh, a essence of fire right and to get a unicorn you give a nightmare an essence of light I think yeah here we go and here we have a unicorn guys um, so, yeah, the unicorns are kind of, uh, as you can see, they kind of float down. See all the stairs? When you jump up in the sky, they float. So you can jump off like a really high cliff and you won't take any damage when you hit the ground. So that's the really good thing about um, unicorns. So that's unicorns anyway. Um, I prefer the nightmares, though. They're, they look way better. Um, so, yeah, that's unicorns. Um, basically, there's one other horse I have not covered, uh, which is the fairy horse. Now, the fairy horse, I don't know about the fairy horse. I... You have to breed uh, a pegasus and a unicorn together uh, to get a fairy horse. And what happens is when you breed the two of them, uh, the two horses disappear and then you get a fairy horse. So I wouldn't say it's worth it. Um, I just stick with a pegasus. They look, I think they just look just as good. But the fairy horse, you can make them any different color you want. And uh, there's other stuff as well about the fairy horse. But I'm not really sure about the fairy horse. It's kind of a... I wouldn't really be, be too interested in getting it. But if you want, you, all you have to do is breed the pegasus with the um, with the Zorse and to, you can't give them pumpkins either you have to give them essences of light so it's like extremely hard to get a fairy horse so I don't know if it's worth it but um, yeah but remember I said how you have to to give this guy an essence of light if I give it to him now it won't work you have to be way up at, at sky level I don't know if you can see that right up there but I have a platform in the sky I just went up with, with blocks and uh, built a little platform up there flew him up there and gave him the assessments of light, and then he turns into a into a into a Pegasus. So that's how you get the uh, Pegasus. You can't give it to him on ground level, or or it won't work. So um, yeah, uh, the last last thing now, guys. Um, almost finished. These um, amulets. Uh, what you call the amulets are uh, basically uh, they they're devices to carry uh, horses, rare horses. So as you can see, this is the sky amulet. This is for the uh, the Pegasus. This is how you make it, so yeah, it's kind of hard to get all this fire and diamonds and stuff. Uh, this is a ghost amulet, uh, bone amulet, and fairy amulet. Them two are for the ghost horse and the bone horse, and this one's for the fairy horse. Basically, all you do is you get the amulet, you right-click on the horse. Uh, he gives you back the saddle, as you can see right there, and the horse disappears. And then he's now he's in this amulet. So as you can see, if I right-click again, he, he appears out of the amulet, and I just have to put the saddle back on him. And uh, then uh, that's pretty much it. So the amulets are a really handy way of getting around with your horse. Um, uh, but they, they're kind of hard to make and they only work on the really rare horses. So the next thing I can do is when I put the armor on the horse. He looks amazing if you ask me. Uh, and now that's pretty much it. I'll go for a nice fly around with him. And that's it guys. Um, I think that's going to be all for this video. Um, I covered a lot of stuff. But you know any questions just ask me down in the, in the, in the comments below. Uh, please please subscribe guys this this took me all day to breed all these horses so please do show some support it, like it took me like hours to get all these horses together because you can't spawn them you have to breed them so um yeah so guys anyway um that's going to be it for this video uh please like uh, and subscribe and uh
yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.